The Guyanese people have exercised their civic right and they deserve to be heard. But due to continued electoral improprieties, the people have not been heard after 19 long weeks. As such, the Secretary of State announced visa restrictions on individuals that have been responsible for or complicit in undermining democracy in Guyana. Immediate family members of such persons may also be subject to these restrictions. These restrictions are under the authority of the Immigration and Nationality Act, Section 212A3C, to restrict visas to those whose entry into the United States would have potentially serious adverse foreign policy consequences. Visa records are confidential under US law, so we are not able to identify the individuals or provide details on any individual visa case. The international community has been clear that it stands with the Guyanese people and that there would be consequences for individuals who seek to undermine democracy. Over 130 countries are represented through various statements from the Organization of American States, the OAS, the Commonwealth, CARICOM, the European Union, as well as multiple bilateral messages and calls for the process to be free and fair. The events following the March 2 elections, some of which I personally wit witnessed, indicate that there are forces that have repeatedly refused to accept the will of the people at the ballot box. Guyana's non-democratic trajectory is dangerous for its citizens and for the hemisphere as a whole. I hope that Guyana's leaders understand what is at stake if it continues down this path. Could you tell us uh, how many persons are affected by the visa restrictions and if you could say what categories um, of officials we're looking at? Good to see you, Neil. Uh, no, per U.S. law, we are not able to talk about the individuals, so we're not able to name names and I'm not going to get into numbers. We reserve the right to review uh, any actions that are occurring in Guyana at this time. And we will review various cases and actions and make determinations as necessary going forward. Uh, the Secretary of State has spoken out for several weeks about uh, the potential for serious consequences should Guyana uh, or should individuals in Guyana continue to undermine the democratic process. Uh, at the highest levels of the State Department, it was determined that individuals have undermine that democratic process, and so he spoke. He stands by his word.